coffee cup, don't you? You can't have one. It's one off. Actually, you can have one. If you're willing to pay me enough, I will get you one of these. It is a badass little cup, right? The other side is the best part. That is... It's my wife's cup. It's not mine. I wish it was mine. So anyway, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, I have a little camping tip for you who are here in Florida waiting for this big nasty storm to come around. Uh, just in case it does, just in case it knocks out the power or if any other storms coming around, it's going to knock out the power. Um, you know, here in Florida, it's, it's already, I don't know, it's 9 o'clock in the morning and it is probably 105 degrees and it's cloudy. So, you know, it's hot, it's sweaty, it's sticky, the bugs are horrible. When you lose power, that becomes a constant for you. There's no getting away from it. You're just going to be stuck in, in hot, sweaty heat all day and all night. And it's hard to sleep outside in Florida in the summer. And it's even harder to sleep inside if the air conditioning is not going because there's no air moving in the house. So it's really, I would sleep outside. If, if a storm came through and knocked out power in the next few days, obviously, are usually fairly decent days because uh, all the storm left and left a dry weekend. Uh, what I do is I go outside and I put up a big old tent and the whole family sleeps in the tent. The bigger and the more netting, the better because more air is going to flow and it's going to be a little cooler. But it's not going to be cool. So the other thing I do is I take some regular plain old bed sheets, you know, just some old bed sheets. Fold them up, put them in a Ziploc bag, and drop them in the freezer. Yeah, the freezer. Several days before the storm comes, or before I'm camping, if I have to camp in Florida in the summer. I hate to do that, but I've done it. And this is, has helped me. So you put those, or a sleeping bag, if you've got a small sleeping bag that'll fit in there, that's better. Um, anything you have that you're going to sleep under, you want to put in the freezer for a few days leading up to the storm so that when you lose power, you have cold sheets and you can cycle them. You can go through them. One night you use one and then the next night you use the other. Now, obviously, you're losing power so they can't stay in the freezer for the whole week. But if you have a cooler full of ice, which by now you should have a cooler full of ice, anytime there's a storm coming, you want a cooler full of ice. Anytime you go camping, you probably, if you're, if you're tent camping or spot camping, you do want a cooler full of ice, right? So you keep doing the same thing. You keep putting those blankets and those sheets in Ziploc bags so they don't get wet. Because you don't want to sleep under a wet blanket. And you put it in your cooler and you let it cool down all day. Now, it's not going to work all night long. It's not going to be the greatest thing ever. But trust me, after a long, hot, sweaty day, <laughs> you pull that ice cold blanket over your body oh for a few minutes there you have the best night of your life yeah it'll get warm later but it might cool your temperature down enough to help you sleep and once you get to sleep the temperature is not as crucial right so that's a tip for you i hope you take my advice if you don't hey man i don't care i'm gonna do it i already have things in the freezer listen thank you for watching my channel thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing Maybe someday that'll start making me some money and, and we can start doing some really cool stuff. So you guys take care. Be safe in this storm.